Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for The Cuckoo's Fiancé, Chapter 82. Uh, when we last left our heroes, Nagi decided to put the family meeting on hold so he could go to Ai's place, where she had previously invited him to listen to, to, listen to this new song, and he could hopefully get some answers at Ai's place. Uh, and so he goes there, somehow not quite figuring out that I was the one who tipped the news off to their so-called relationship. And he gets to Ai's room... Uh, and her bedroom is plastered in Yukun photos. And she's kind of gone full on, full on creep mode. She reveals the pretty obvious twist that she was the one who, who leaked that to the news. Um, and that because the general public has given the, given a blessing to their relationship and sort of set them up as like the, the potential pop culture power couple of the Reiwa era, that by... Not going out with her, he could be making an enemy of the world. Um, and then she kicks him out because that gave her a new idea for a song. Uh, yeah, I is definitely developing into, uh, let's just say, a character. She's a character. Uh, but with that, let's dive right on into chapter 82. We open back at uh, Nagi and Erika's house. Jeez, this has been such a pain. My friends at school are flooding me with questions. This is uh, Sachi, I'm assuming. Eating at like eating from like Whack Donalds or something. From Uber Khan for instead of Uber Eats, I like that. I don't even know what's going on here. And our parents' place is wild now, too. I Chan and Nagi. Why is the media treating this like a relationship expose? Uh, and Erica's also kind of snacking on a burger. I don't know either. That's why Nagi Kun is on his way to find out right now. And then there's a knock on the door. I'm a little worried though, because we do know from what Erica said back in chapter 80. That so Ichiro is going to have this sort of sight on the house now too, but Sachi sits up or stands up. Ah, is Nagi back? And we have our cover page, eighty second foul. You really are like mother, like daughter. Our picture here is of I. There's a bit of a pun in I love you in the blurb. I is in her name. She's wearing this hoodie with like uh, the Yukun picture and a heart. It's very on the nose. It's still like a boombox. It's a whole thing. Uh, just because society is given their blessing doesn't mean that the family will react the same. Or that Nagi will react the same. He's not on board with this either. Anyway, we then cut back to a bit of what I said last week. I'm the one who leaked the information for the reports. Are you prepared to make an enemy of the world? And we see that Nagi is not home. He is still somewhere off. We don't quite know where. We can only really see a sky. What do I do in this situation? And then um, Erica flashes back to, or no, then Nagi flashes back to what Erica said, what I called out earlier. Now that, it's, now that it's come to this, there's no way Daddy's going to keep quiet about it. And then Nagi knocks on the door only now, implying that someone else has already beat him here. I guess I should start thinking of a plan. And he like rings the doorbell, I think. Oh no, he he opens the door, and then the alarm, like the door alarm rings, um, and he calls in. I'm back. Oh, and it's not Soichiro. It's a woman who says, pleasure to see you again. I am Erika's mother. Oh, boy. There, that, that ties in with our title, though. You really are like mother, like daughter. Um, mm. Anyway, though, that like mother, like daughter could vary. I, for some reason, my brain went, it's time for an anti-Sachi rant right now. I feel like I haven't done an anti-Sachi rant in a good six or seven chapters, and I'm kind of itching for one. Um, but anyway, I might go into that. I might not. I am Erika's mother. Uh, and Nagi sort of freezes. We see Erika and Sachi are, have, that, have that same kind of uncomfortable face going on. And Nagi kind of freezes. Oh, uh, it's been too long, ma'am. That's right. This is... And then uh, Miss Amino says, I believe we haven't seen each other since the first time we met at dinner. My real mom. Mm. Which is weird, because with a title like... I'm going, I'm going to go on the fucking rant now. Just as a word of warning, I have been off my ADHD meds for about a month, and I can go on a rant at any point. Um, because with that, you really are like mother-like daughter. It's clearly with Erica and her mom stressing the genuineness of that mother-daughter relationship. And then we have this bit of Nagi trying to say that he has the mother-son relationship with this woman that he's never met before. Um, but then even he says, or so I'd like to think, but 
it's not as easy as accepting her just like that. Because again, whenever we're not shipping Nagi, whenever we're not having some Nagi Sachi content, the show is definitively, you know, family is the people who raised you, the people who love you, and is in no way defined by blood. Um, and then there's Nagi Sachi. But I'm going to focus. I'm going to focus. Okay. Uh, anyway, Nagi sort of agrees with her. That's right. After all, this woman hasn't done so much as contact me since then. She might not think of me as her real child. And then he sets his back, backpack down and thinks, but then why has she come here today? Uh, and Mrs. Amino chimes in, by the way, I've heard about this whole mess. And there's something about the way she's drawn there, the shadows over her eyes, like the fierceness of her gaze, she like sips her tea, I guess, is very kind of, she's not happy. Nagi sort of sputters out, ah, yes, and thinks, so that's what this is about. He then, he then like bows to her and says, I'm sorry for what's happened recently. Please accept my sincerest apologies. And he thinks, of course she's mad. I was supposed to be Amino-san's fiance. Uh, but then Mrs. Amino just sort of looks at him. What? Acting like a celebrity now? And Nagi looks up, huh? And she just starts to laugh. She is far more Erika than, uh, than Soichiro is. Oh, geez. Wow. That's just hilarious. And Erika snaps, hey, mommy. And Nagi sort of stares, what? And at this point, she's like rolling on the couch laughing. But he's just so funny. Like those apology conferences. And she laughs so hard, she starts to cough. Erika comes over with a water bottle. Come on, are you all right? Here, have some water. But her mom is just wheezing from laughing so hard. Nagi turns to Sachi. What's going on here, Sachi? It is what you see. After all, she is the one who raised Erika. And Nagi's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I can't imagine Soichiro being a hands-on parent. But anyway, Mrs. Amino collects herself. Anyway, about what's happened. The girl in question, though it's only half-truths, she leaked some information. She leaked some information, didn't she? And Nagi kind of chimes in, in indeed. And then Mrs. Amino just starts laughing again. Oh man, I can't take it anymore. Stop talking like that already. I can't even look you in the eye, in the eye anymore. And Nagi sort of sputters, sorry. So, you know, in show business, you know that sort of thing is just a, is just a publicity stunt they do to promote themselves. Ugh. And she just like has this, you know, angry face. It's kind of almost Nagi-like. Ugh, I just can't. Show business? More like shit business, am I right? And Nagi's kind of freezing. What? Huh? This gap between this and what I see. And we see at this point, Mrs. Amino is like lounged on the couch. Man, I can't go on like this. Sheesh. Don't you guys have any beer in this house? And Sasha just looks away. Unsurprisingly, we don't. Of course not. Uh, and, and Mrs. Amino sort of, sort of sits there. And Nagi is just sort of stunned. So, um, about your mom, Amino-san. Just who is she? And Eric has to sort of, sort of, Looks sort of deadpan, explains. You never asked, so I never told you, but... You could say she's in the media. Or more like she's a producer at a national television station. Well, that gives us some context to all our show business analogies. Uh, and, and Sachi comes over with a drink. I brought you some ginger ale instead. Oh, you shouldn't have. You're such a sweet kid, Sachi-chan. And Nagi at this point is still kind of frozen there. I see. And then Miss Amino sort of holds her drink for a sec. So tell me. Have the two of you had sex yet? Don't ask, ask that about your fucking daughter. God damn, who raised you? Who raised you? Uh, and they both sort of freeze, obviously. Huh? What? And Erica snaps, what are you saying, mommy? As if we would ever do that. I will say, I don't know, there's something about, I could get on, like I could understand Erica calling her father daddy, giving her sort of like daddy's girl vibe. Um, the mommy thing just doesn't quite seem right to me. I don't know. I don't quite know. I'm not, not adept in, I'm in no way adept in Japanese enough to sort of comment on whether or not it, it's what, it's what the best translation is. But reading it is just really fucking weird. I'm sorry. Uh, and Mrs. Domino puts her like head in hand. What? That's a real shame now though, isn't it? Jesus fucking Christ, this woman. I guess, I mean, something tells me not even she was really a, uh, on hand, a hands-on parent for Erica, but like the fact that 
I'm trying to figure out the, the, the vibe I'm getting is that she almost sees Erica as like she she sees she sees this as like an opportunity for like a gossip column almost or a gossip segment on a news broadcast. It's sort of she sees her daughter almost as like um um capital maybe like a chance to make money. I guess I don't know. I mean I mean Erica stated she's a very minor celebrity and there wouldn't be a lot of revenue just from Erica. But it's, that's just gross. It's gross on every level. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop treating that like it's anything but gross. Um, but then Nagi sort of looks at at Erica. That sounds just like you. Is it? Does it? That sort of. I don't think Erica's ever really been that sort of upfront about anything. Um, but Erica sort of apologizes. Sorry. And then Nagi goes on. You really are like mother, like daughter. Sorry. And Miss Amino goes on, just let your instincts do all the talking, and you'll cream it. Jesus fucking Christ, this woman. Jesus fucking... Okay. I mean, maybe, maybe cream it in that context is meant as just doing a good job. But we know it's not. We can all see the pun. We're all adults here, I hope. Um, ah. And Erica understandably just snaps, just stop it already! And then some time passes, uh, and Miss Amino just kind of goes on. But this is a predicament, isn't it? Don't you think this kind of situation is just too interesting for the media? What does the Prince of Scandals think? And Nagi sort of freezes. You mean me? He doesn't exactly have a lot of scandals going on. But Erica asks, he has, like he has the one with I. That's kind of it. What do you mean? Erica asks, though. And then Mrs. Amino goes on. Let's look at it this way. Let's say they find out the two of you are engaged and living together and get it all on film. Wouldn't that, just, wouldn't that be just the biggest scoop? And she's just like is excited at this because she's not a great mother, I'm going to say. I'm going to put that out there. She's just not a great mom. It's just way too juicy. The public will eat it up. And Nagi's kind of freezing. Oh, no. And he has the image of the tabloid article he imagined back in like 80. Um, and... Uh, Nagi sort of, or Erika freezes, for real? And then she snaps her fingers. Okay, here's what we're going to do. And these men in suits come in, shocking Nagi and Erika, and they grab the two of them and pull them out. What? Uh, and slam them into, like, an, what might be an unmarked van. Uh, that's some fucking creepy shit. Mm. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? But then we come back to Uminote for something else entirely. After all these years, ever since we opened Uminote, we've just broken our all-time sales record. And the two of them, like, high-five, not concerned about the drama their son's gotten wrapped up in. Uh, they're just here for the money, which is, I guess, you could argue it's similar to what Erika's mom is doing, but only in the broadest of strokes. They are not trying to sell their child's sex life to national media. Uh, they're just happy to... They've just been poor their entire lives. They want some actual spending money. Uh, so no, I'm not going to, not going to go on... Get, get on to the Uminos like I did to Ms. Amino. But anyway, Sachi comes back. I'm back. What? Sachi-chan? It's gotten quieter outside, hasn't it? I'm, I'm going to assume this is Yohei. Yup. But up until a while ago, the shop was crawling with the press. But since they'd be a bother to the neighborhood, we asked them to come back in the morning. And Sachi asks, all this time it was that simple? And Namie sort of goes on, enough about us, what happened to you? And Sachi has come in with this, like, sort of, of, you know, knapsack of, like, all her possessions. Just back home for a while. I feel like that's not how you should have opened that, Sachi. You opened that with, my brother and his fiance were kidnapped an hour ago. But uh, Namie and Yohei sort of look at each other questioningly. Uh, and I think this is Namie walks up. I get it, Sachi. Did you get in a fight again or something? Nope. It's because the other two are gone now. And Namie and Yohei both ask, where to? And he sort of looks sad. That I don't know. And then we see a, a text message from I. I finished my new song. And I'm assuming this is I, because it's the message is pointing to the right. Right? That's strange. He hasn't read my message. 
and she just starts spamming him. Nagi Chan, hey, you asleep? Wake up! Uh, and then she. So here's another word of advice: turn off your read receipts. Don't. Like, I, I meant I brought up some like random internet internet advice last week. Go into your settings, go to your messages app on your settings, and turn off your read receipts. Don't let this happen to you. That's my word of advice. Um, but anyway, um, no, I sort of still uncomfortable with the fact that Nagi is not answering your text. Mm, come on already! And then we see Nagi and Erica. Nagi snaps. You should just go over to. You should just go to that desk over there and study already. And study, all right? And Nagi snaps back. What about you? Can't you just go over that sofa over there and use your phone? And the two of them turn turn away. Hmm. And they're on the same bed. I feel like... I feel like Mrs. Amino sla slammed them into a one-bed hotel room. That's my guess. Yep. Yeah, there it is. There's our money shot. On opposite sides of this, like, queen-size bed. Looking out... I love the, the cityscape. Um, Yoshikawa's drawn there. You know, I don't quite... I don't quite... I talk about Yoshikawa's art talents quite a bit, but still not quite as much as, as she deserves. Because that's a fucking gorgeous shot to cram into a weekly schedule. Especially with a monthly manga coming up, which I'll talk about in a bit. Uh, anyway, Erika snaps, I don't have my phone! And Nagi, I don't have my books! And the two of them just sta stare at each other, all alone here for two weeks? What in the world are we supposed to do? Oh, gosh. I, can't be I cannot believe this woman stuffed her daughter and her biological son. Which, framing it like that makes it even worse. Um, and I don't normally frame it like that for obvious reasons, but I will right now. Cram them into a hotel room all alone from the world so they can fuck for two weeks. It's disgusting. They are like 16. What the fuck is her problem? Um, completely hidden from the public. Next time, their time together under house arrest begins. Okay. So despite the fact that, that Erica's mom is kind of awful, that is not a condemnation of the chapter itself. I should clarify. The chapter is certainly interesting. Um, but yeah, let's, let's take it piece by piece. Uh, we get, you know, the return to really the first time since the first chapter of Erica's mom. And while she initially kind of comes off as, you know, very much, very much in line with her husband, that turns out to not be the case. She's much more outspoken. Uh, she's also not in line with her husband and that she has no desire for Nagi to get with Sachi, of all people. Which, like, thank you for that, I guess? But somehow you made that, you, you made me long for, for Soichiro's Nagi-Sachi scheming, which is a lot <laughs> I mean, not really. If I really. If I really think about it, you know, this is grosser in an in-universe context than whatever Soichiro's up to. Um, but it is less narratively gross than Nagisachi, I guess. But it's like, it's like thin margins trying to force these two teenagers to like, I guess, fuck like rabbits, which is, uh, it's, it's uncomfortable. It's just a gross fucking thing she's pulled. Uh, I will say, though, a bit of theorizing. I do not suspect they will actually stay there for two weeks. We might get one chapter of them trying to cohabitate like this. And then I think the fact that we, we get Sachi and I sort of reacting to, to the disappearance of Nagi and Erika makes me think the two of them are going to have some, some kind of like team-up arc to rescue uh, Nagi and Erika. Um, maybe with Hiro, hopefully. Uh, but given that, given that, like, Sachi and I are at the very bottom of my, my best girl listings, um, not even close, I'm being honest, uh, I would rather Hero be in there because she's just a great character. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I'm just, I just don't really know. Hold on, let me gather my train of thought. Um, I don't know. We're, I just did not expect anything to happen in this chapter, and I'm just sort of reacting as I come. Um, but yeah, Nagi and Erika have been kidnapped. They're off in some hotel room somewhere. Sachi and I are probably going to have to break them out. Maybe with Hiro, hopefully with Hiro. Um, but yeah, we might be looking at some kind of, some kind of rescue arc 
in the now. We might now be in some kind of rescue arc. Don't quite know how that's going to go. Uh, but I am looking forward to it. Even if it's just to, like, see someone bring Mrs. Amino down a peg or two. Because, God, that's a fucking creepy thing to do. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. I can't really think of anything else to say. So, I believe I'm going to leave this, this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe. Or, you know, do whatever makes you happy, you know? And remember, your life is your own, okay? Bye!